Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to look how to create terrain. So we will create this image, but we do create a little bit atmosphere, clouds, work on this terrain, but our focus won't be so much on add details as mostly on creating texture to take like for example this mountains and you can notice right here how we can create multiple layers creating in a far away distance look like a plants maybe going around there dust another one so how we can work in a simple way without using function editor just the layers inside the view to create those images and of course we'll touch a little bit in the photoshop and end how we can create high dynamic range images and save them inside the view application so we can process and add extra layer of this contrast and bring some even texture more again this is optional so let's go ahead start working on the layering materials inside the view okay so let's go ahead and start work on our uh, scenery and i want to create a simple terrain and you can go just double time click or right click and go to edit object so we'll go inside our terrain editor and right here i want to increase resolution before we increase the resolution i want to use peaks and let me show what's happening so this is one peak when we really re increase resolution it will increase um kind of scale of this fractal so if we click again you can see we'll have it like little bit more and if we increase more resolution again another peaks you can see we have it more kind of peaks going around so keep this in mind sometimes when you create and you want to create more peaks it's maybe work better just to click several times increase resolution in this case you have it kind of more um, interesting look um, mountains okay so let me go ahead here and I want to be sure my camera after exposure natural filter is turned off because I want preview lights just move slightly out okay working with the shadows and if we re render right now you'll notice that we have a kind of sharp shadows going we could smooth those shadows if we need it and it's they work very well with the terrain uh, we can go inside the Sun and we can set or reduce dark shadows so we can make way less okay in this case what's happening the shadows is cast you'll notice compared to you see how we still more detail so we can do that way the other ones with the landscape also work well if we just enable shadow map okay we'll go with shadow map okay right here and let's set base to one back to one normal okay um but here we will have a couple problems one when we render it's given a very nice soft canvas placement look very nice i like way better you can see more natural look but here's the problem if we apply some plants to this then we'll have a problem and what i mean by that we can go open create new layer let's switch to the ecosystem and as ecosystem will go preload and will preload just blue sprite let's click populate and we'll go to render so this is render with enable shadow map and problem how shadows created you can see the plants almost look like they're floating on the top so we don't see those shadows close to the plants um, let's go right now we'll go back to our light and we disable so we can compare and you can see by the bottom of the trees we'll have a little bit harder shadows so they look a little bit more in place on our mountain again we'll rework a little bit but overall you can compare and see how the kind of glowing unnatural things so sadly how I said this is work very well when you have it like a desert dune something with no plants other things then we'll have very nice shadows which is kind of look very interesting again but with the plants they're not necessarily will work very well okay so let's go back here and at this point I want to actually remove ecosystem we don't need it 
but what I want to do is start work on our terrain. Uh, we'll go create a simple mountains kind of look with the sun over. And because um, I kind of don't necessarily want to use plants or we use a different, we'll see if we can make softer shadows, create this kind of morning look. Okay, first let's take our terrain right here and set to one. This is, and we'll look at materials, this is our basic, basic material, so it's our underground layer. I want to put it over and I want to put different layers, so they will going over our mountains, maybe on the peaks, on the top, and maybe on the sides. Next, uh, first, this is okay gray, but I want to add kind of more iron, more um, reddish color, so we'll go create a new layer. Okay, and let's call it red color, so I kind of know. And when you start working with this with layer, we can add a texture, we can add um, a lot of how it's look effect. We'll do this with our color in alpha, we'll go to natural grain, this is look good. And I'll select something one color red. And one little bit brighter red. Notice it, it does not see the grain as much, so maybe we want to actually take darker, so we'll see higher contrast in the grain. We also can play with the roughness, contrast. Just to add this element. Okay, at this point when you says, okay, it's look a good, now I want to um, properly distribution for this, then the best way to do this is actually going and set highlighters. You can just double time click so it will set highlighters for this level. In this case, if your um, color or texture very close to your texture and your scenery, then you can still see it. It's actually work very well. As well, when you work with ecosystem distribution, same things, you can enable highlighter and see what area there will be place it. So right here we'll need to go to the effects, actually let's go to um, presence, and right there we have it altitude constraint, slope and orientation. So for example if I want this to be on a bottom, I can kind of going down and notice right here it says by the object. If I want to take this and apply it to other ones, I want to go to or relative to the C, on this case it will going with um, all height, in this case, if I take and apply to different objects, they will be kind of matching. So we'll do this way. And right here you can see I'm kind of going down, decreasing. And I'll say, okay, I want this red material, start about this area. But again, I don't want this sharp line going around. And let me just increase a little bit. So we can preview right here, better. So I don't want to necessarily have this sharp line for this. We have it use it for fuzziness. And at top, you notice if I had 22%, we start having this nice gradients going. So it's a little bit more natural. Okay, let's take it down to 28 meters. And we'll take this one fuzziness and just bring a little bit higher. So we'll have it a much smoother effect. Okay, this is one next. I don't want to, for example, be on this kind of reach on a sharp things. So for that we need to work with a slope constraint. And what's happening if I take all of this to 24%? You can see we cut off on some of those edges. Now it's a link only a bit more flat. So but if I going from the top and right here you can preview, we cut from some of those flat areas. So to do this, we'll go and we'll take, bring a little bit more from the constraint from here. A little bit more on the flat areas. And make those edges kind of come up. And notice what's happening right here. We can see it's a flat, but we still also see those kind of ugly cut off because we don't have fuzziness, they just cut area, it's a clipping. So we'll go in and we'll adjust as well, little bit on our 
as a step right there, you know, maybe about eight. And you can see we can kind of start adding smoothing areas. Same you can do for the flat if you have another area, but we don't need to worry about flat because it's 100%. So we'll go back here and just maybe increase to 10%. So just leave it nicer and smoother. Okay, um, currently we I don't need to worry about orientation. We will use the orientation when we work with a little bit snow. When we're done, we can just uncheck and you can see right here we added additional materials to this area. So let's go in the next row, just add more materials. We'll add more and more details going around and uh, maybe some different effects. And we'll also will start adding snow top snow and snow just on the side with those ridges area.